Hey guys, welcome to the Food Taster family. We are here uh, in a different part of Phnom Penh and we are trying some Indian Nepalese food. And what's the place called? It's Gur called Gurkha something. Gurkha Palace. It's a uh, Nepalese and Indian cuisine. Nepalese and Indian cuisine. You can see the name in the menu. Get closer. There it is. Uh, we order some different kinds of food just to try. We order some samosa. I think we got it already. So yeah. this one is the the samosa. And we got some momo, a vegetable momo. Yeah. So it's a vegetable momo. It looks like dumplings. And uh, sheep kebab, chicken. chicken. So we got a chicken sheep kebab. And we got the boti, boti, boti kebab. Boti kebab. So that's the lamb kebab. So uh, we're gonna wait for things to get here, and then we will uh, get back to you in a second. Okay, we're back. Now we're gonna try the samosa, vegetable samosa. But they brought something here. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like it could Chips? be a, like an Indian. Looking chips, I think, or something like that. Or, or let's try yeah. it. See what it is. I think it's a chip, right? Mm. It's like a deep fried chip. Deep fried bread, 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 maybe. Yeah, that's pretty tasty. Mm -hmm. Simple. It's not too gamey, it's not too salty. It's very mm -hmm. I actually taste oregano in it, so mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Yeah, that so. looks pretty good. So let's Sounds start with the samosa. Yeah. See you more later. So let's grab one. What's this one? What's this? That sauce? sauce for this, I think. The green sauce. Oh, well, I'm gonna try the samosa. So it looks like this. It's fried. It's vegetable it's inside. Um, let's try. It. Still feels a little hot, but let's go. Mm. Oh, that is good. Wow, one of the best samosas. I've had so far. Really? Mm. Yeah, this is good. You can actually see the inside. So there's a bowl of vegetables and potato and some spices in there. So it tastes pretty good. Yeah. Um, how about we wait till we get the rest of the stuff and then we can try those ones out. Sounds yeah. Good? Yeah. We'll be back. All right. all right, guys. We are back. We got all the food now in front of us. It's a pretty good combination of food here. So let's start with the small one here. This one was the chicken kebab, right? Chicken kebab. Chicken kebab. Chicken. chicken. So this is the chicken. It looks delicious. We have the lamb, <coughs> then we got the lamb on the bread. So this is it. There is this was an eight skewer, nine skewers of lamb on the bread. And we have the vegetable momo. Vegetable momo. This chicken, right? And let's see how that tastes. Yeah, I didn't do. I didn't do. Hold on. guys. We are back. Need one more. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, give me one more coke. There you go. Yeah, I need this coke. So, um, before before we get to the next dish, which is the lamb, we gotta say something about the sauce. How about you? How we do? You know, there is this green, very nicely colored seasoned. Taste, uh, sauce it has, a, it has a spicy chili taste to it, but it's not that thank you. Thank you. And um, thank you, thank you. Uh, they told us that there is chili and mint. 
Ginger and garlic. And garlic. That's very good. We try this sauce with the, the chips. We tried it with the chicken kebab we just had. That was and amazing. It goes well with everything. So uh, if you come here, I recommend to try that. Now let's get to the lamb. I'm not a big fan of lamb, but I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do like this one straight out without the bread, just to see what it tastes like. Seasoned, heavily seasoned, heavily seasoned. So if you're not a big fan of the taste of the lamb, overpowering the food, you don't have to worry about that because the seasoning and the spices they take care of that for you. And it is cooked to perfection, so it's not medium rare or rare. It's fully cooked too, so it has the crunchy kind of first bite to it. Now we can uh, try some of the bread also. It's, oh, it's spicy. Yeah, I'm not even a fan of lamb, but I'm gonna eat more of this. Yeah. Let's have some more of this, but I'm gonna try it with some of the bread. So I can get the taste mm -hmm. of it. And this bread it's is not called it's a non bread. Non bread. Okay. Okay. Try to eat it like this with the bread just to see what that tastes. So, preferably, I just <laughs> wanted to try the bread on its own mm. to see how. Actually, the, the bread brings down the spiciness a little bit so it becomes a little bit more mild spicy. It does have a, a lamb spicing and the cake. That's it. Yeah. But it's good though. It's very good. This is very delicious. So we're gonna go through this and then we get back to you guys for the next dish. Alright guys, we are back and uh, that was some spicy lamb. <coughs> it wasn't like... Yeah. <laughs> it was good though. That was very good. Alright, so now we are on the last dish. But we are thinking about ordering some dessert as well because you know, you just take a look at these desserts and they look pretty decent, right? Yeah. Should we try this one? Um, well, you can, I'm thinking to try this or this. Well, you can't forget which one. Which one is better? Which one of these two desserts is better? Uh, this one is the milk powder, milk uh -huh. powder, and this one is milk powder. Okay. Oh, carrots. Which one? The milk powder one? Yeah, the milk powder one. So can we order this also? All right, so yeah, you guys, so we just ordered this very delicious looking dessert down here, the last one. <coughs> it's called Gola, Gola Jamun. I hope we're saying that right. Gola Jamun. J-A-M-U-N. Jamun. Or Jamun. No, Jamun. <laughs> Anyways. So now we're gonna to go to the last dish, which is the vegetarian mono. So let's dig into it. Let's see what this tastes like. Okay, let's do this. This looks nice and hey, I'm playing with me. This is we're gonna go with that. Chinese dumpling. Uh, steam dumpling. It's like a steam dumpling but filling has potato and vegetables. So it's like a samosa filling inside the dumpling. And that sauce is does it just that sauce is very well made. So that adds a lot of flavor. So try one with the sauce. And I think you're gonna enjoy it more. I'm gonna just use my hand for this because this looks like a yeah. hand uh, uh, Excuse us. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. 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 
better, right? The sauce, it's very good. Mm. Sauce is very interesting. And the flavors are pretty good. But yeah, this is definitely a nine and a half to ten dish. Mm. I would say the first two dishes were just definitely 10. And the samosa was 10. So the chicken kebab thing was 10. The lamb is a 10. This is a nine and a half to 10. Well, I'm gonna keep my comment for the last part of the video. There you go. But, so, but I'm easy. A little bit. Yeah, being so, selfish. Um, we're gonna devour this, goodness. And then we'll come back to you as soon as the dessert gets here. Yes, we will. Catch you soon. Well, we are back with the last part of this video. And almost the last almost. part. Almost. Now, this restaurant was nice enough to give us these two last desserts for free. So, thank you. <laughs> we appreciate it. Uh, so, the first one we have here, we're going to have this one with carrots. Well, I don't know what's on the top. Some, uh, um, some, some nuts. nuts. Some nuts on the top. Raisin. Looks yeah, like. raisin. So this one is called uh, Gajar Kahalwa. Okay, so this is Gajar Kahalwa. And these two goodnesses here. <laughs> and these well, ones are called Zaman. Zaman. Gulab and Zaman. Za Zaman. It's a J A M U M, so it's a Golab Jam. Now we will uh, try these and tell you how they taste. Yeah. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna go for this first. Okay. There you go. Let's see. Yeah. Wow, it's even snow size. It's, it's warm, it's not too sweet, it's not, it just has a perfect, perfect texture. It's really nice. And the flavor, you know, it's not, it's not too sweet. This is just a perfect balance of everything. It has a kind of a pumpkin or a potato -y kind of It's actually a uh, carrot. No, no, it is carrot. I thought it's carrot mixed with something else. Huh? Or is it just carrot? I think it's just carrot. Okay. So, let's see. Some of these. This is very tasty. And, very. And the carrot taste is actually not overpowering. The sweetness no. is so balanced. This is very tasty dessert. So, try this. Kajar Kahalo. That's what this one is. Very good. Mm. Wow. Mm. That is delicious. Now, let's finish that later. Let's try these guys. So we can try the others. Mm. Let's try the yeah. this one. Let's see what this one is. So it's kind of a soft. Like a jello, jello -y kind of thing to it. Okay. So I'm gonna go uh, for a straight shot with some of the juice. Mm. So it's like made of a rice, the rice, like rice, yeah, rice powder. That is milk uh, powder. Milk powder, and it has a it has a very sweet uh, syrup on top of it. Mm. I cannot put my hand on it. But That's rose water. Rose water, that's what that is. So roll out maybe it's a rose water. But between these two, which one would you like better? I'm, I'm going to really... Um, I like this on top of that. Let's put it this way. Yeah, it's hard to tell which one. They're both amazing. They both are really nice. This is good, very good stuff. So, you know what I want to try? Mm. It might be a weird combination, but you know what? 
I'm gonna put some of this on this. I know oh, yes. if if you're Indian or I'm sorry. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to but I'm doing it. How's that thing? That combination. I'm gonna stick to the original because I love the original flavor. It's just mm -hmm. Make this way for a reason. What do you think? Sticking to the original or are you doing that? Yeah, it became a low crunchy for no reason. Yeah. So these are really good. So we're going to finish this and then we'll get back to you with the scores and the price. So see you very soon. All right, guys. Well, welcome to the last, last part. We promise. <laughs> last, <laughs> we last. promise. All right, we got the, we got the chili, we got the price. But before we get to the price, we need to rank this place. So I will let Michael go first. So what do you think, Michael? What do you give this place? Yeah. <clears throat> let me let me read from the full one to ten. From or combined? Yeah, let's do a combination because each dish by itself was fantastic, but in, in my opinion. So where would you go from there? Give it a 10 because of the dessert. Well, dessert is definitely a 10. Yeah, and let's go with a 10. So, to get this for the dessert, I'll give it 11. Yeah, lamb, good. I'm not a big fan of lamb. It was too spicy, I'll give it a 9. So, everything that I said to really a 10. Okay, so there you go. 10 out of 10 from Michael. For me, I also will give this place a 10 out of 10. The service was great, the environment is clean and nice. Location is actually pretty nice. Uh, if you guys... Uh, we don't even know where we are. Look at your map. Let's, let's find um, out where this location is. Because uh, if you guys come around here, there's a lot of bars and restaurants around here. The walking distance. And I think at night time, this place will be popping. Um, this is... This is on Street 308 and Street 29. There you go. So, we have Street 308 and Street 29. Mm -hmm. So that's and Actually, we found this place by accident. I was trying to take him to a different restaurant. Somehow, I put the wrong destination. We ended up here somehow. Yeah. And we're glad we did because we found this amazing in your restaurant, uh, Indian Nepali restaurant, and everything is good, so 10 out of 10 for me, I love the food, the, the, the chicken was great, samosa was amazing, um, the sauce even, oh, the green sauce was the highlight, green sauce added to so many different dishes, you can have that, um, the dumpling, the momo, vegetable was very good, uh, for that one, I would give that one a nine and a half out of ten because well, which one, Momo? Yeah, because I, I lived in China before, so I had a lot of dumplings. So for me, like I have a different idea of a good dumpling. But well, this I one think was pretty this good. Was like yeah. Indian style, so we can't really compare. Yeah, in a way, but same similar stuff. Yeah. But the dessert is definitely a lemon, so, so everything together, including the lamb, I need to display it 10 out of 10. And the price will surprise you as well. All of these dishes with the complimentary dessert that they give us. Thank you. Uh, the total came out to $24.25. Yes. So, reasonable price, location is amazing, service is great, and the food is phenomenal. Fantastic. So, please come visit if you are in town, and then, and until next time, we out. We out.